This is a 1966 Ford F100. Fires right up. She's the old three on the tree. So I am having to hold the camera and shift gears at the same time. The engine actually runs really strong. Um, I kind of hated the old man who uh, had it before me. He, he replaced four of the lifters on one side, but not the other. I think the, uh, I think the intake needs to be taken off and the other lifters need to be installed. Uh, so you, cause you can kind of, you can hear the lifter knocking, but the engine runs really strong. I think if you replace the lifters, it'd be quiet as a mouse. And, uh, the tr truck drives straight down the road. It's been sitting for a while and uh, it's going to need some new tires, but uh, it drives really straight. The brakes stop straight. Pull in here at the cul-de-sac and show the truck off a little bit. This is a really pretty truck. And what happened is a few years back, they were starting to back it up a little bit. They were going to kind of start a restoration on it and go through it. So they sanded the body down, put a new paint job on it. This was probably about 10 years ago, he told me e-brake does work and they painted it and they jammed it and everything i mean it's gorgeous put some new uh door panels in painted the inside looks the inside looks great never finished it um needs a headliner uh, the dash is all original and it looks great it's unmolested the original am radio all the original gauges they work see that the temp gauge works the truck does not overheat it needs a new dash pad and it needs a headliner and it'll be good to go maybe a new carpet pad you know a couple hundred bucks and uh it'd be good to go the seat's in great shape it does have that one little rip here on the side this is the wears when you're sitting down on it but the top of it looks really great and man you could buy a new dash pad headliner seat cover and carpet i mean for probably less than 500 dollars. and this is the awesome easy stuff you can install in your garage like I said, um, the old man that I got it from said he replaced those lifters on the one side and I don't understand why I just didn't do the other. But you can clearly hear it. Could just be adjustment. Other than that, you can hear that the engine sounds awesome. You get down low, I mean, everything's quiet. There's no smoke. Carburetor's been rebuilt. I'm gonna flip that off and you can talk more about the talk more about the truck. So yeah, an afternoon project. Um, or I've got a buddy that can I got a guy, you know, who's a mechanic who can fix it if we need to have it done for you. Um, um, I kind of wanted to just leave it alone. I didn't want to go through and do a bunch of stuff to it. You know, a lot of guys do that trying to raise the value, but at the same time, what they're doing is taking away the, the next guy's project. And so I, I kind of keep that in mind too, that I think this is a fun truck. I mean, I'm, I'm literally probably going to throw the gas cans in the back of this truck in a minute and head over to the grocery store, grab some gas for my lawnmower, grab some other stuff, you know, uh, grab some groceries. I mean, the truck is ready to drive around, but we do need to get those list lifters fixed. Um, but super minimal rust on the truck there's a couple of little you know like little frayed spots here but nothing nothing rusted through at all I and mean, the truck is super solid um and like i was saying you know these are these are the little projects that you you know you get you get a better deal on this truck and you get to do your projects that's part of the fun of having it looks like the bumper was replaced when they did the paint job and now it's got just a touch of just like surface level cracky kind of things if you look you got to look super close to see them um, trim on the front is in good shape it needs to be polished the body's really really straight the paint's really presentable from bumper to bumper you can see my reflection there as I walk by the rear bumper is older probably original so it's got you know that kind of the pitting and imperfections on it back of the bed looks awesome super clean Paint's got a uh, couple of spots where it popped a little. Or I think this is the main one right here by the door. If you can see that little cracking. I love this truck. I think it's super cool. Um, I love the old fleet sides. I already showed you the interior. It looks good. Um, the, the, the tires were probably not that old when they parked it, but they're just probably going to need to replace. I mean, you could drive the truck with these tires on it. I mean, I have been. 
but rockers down below look great floor pan a couple of tiny little pinholes there but other than that pretty solid solid frame rails no compromises there no major leaks or anything like that Actually, my very first truck that I ever had, my father-in-law gave me was a 67. The body's just a little bit different on that than the 66, but this one reminds me of the first one I ever had. And I really liked it. You know, when I get, the guys tease me in the shop because like every once in a while we get one in and I say, I want to keep it, I want to keep it. And you know, we gotta, you know, we gotta sell them. That's what we do. But this is one of those ones I'd love to keep. And once the kids are moved off, then I will probably start keeping a couple more of them. But you know, I can't run four, I can't run three kids or a wife and two kids around in a truck like this. Super solid floor pans as I'm showing you here. Solid flint frame, uh, solid uh, rockers. Bottoms of the doors are solid. Tiny itty bitty, couple of little spots where the paint, you can start seeing that the paint's, you know, got those little bubbles on the bottom. Very itty bitty. Very easily sandable and touch upable right now. Doors open and close as they should. Uh, windows are all in great shape. This is a great find. Great find for a great price. This is going to be fun. This is the this is the truck. Like I said, man, buy this truck and tinker with it, and um, maybe even just drive it with the tires that are on it for now until they wear out. But um, you know, I would just this it mostly just needs elbow grease stuff. It doesn't need anything expensive. And I think somebody would have a really, really, really fun time with this thing.